Hey everybody, Brent back, another edition of Near Mint Musings. Today I am going to show some few cards that I have had collecting over the last couple of days. I've been on the road traveling, came back to see these buttes on my desk. Thought I'd share them with you. They're from a number of fellow YouTubers. So let's dive right in. Actually, the first card I'm going to show you is from my Donruss 2020 break that abruptly ended after 23 minutes and 56 seconds. The only other card that I wanted to show from that break was this uh, beauty of a Nelson Cruz. He's got 324 doubles in his career, so it is numbered accordingly to 324. That's going to look awfully purdy in the Nelson Cruz PC. Wanted to share that. Uh, the next group of cards are from uh, one of Mike O's um, sales. This was from a couple ago, I think, and um, pretty Mariner heavy. Wanted to start off, though, with my guy, Steven Souza Jr. Didn't have the Sapphire, so that's a pretty, pretty card, all sparkly and the like. Uh, Mariners. Super Prospect, Jared Klenick. Super excited to have that one. Did not have the Bowman's Best. Uh, from Tops 2020, we got the Turkey Red of Kyle Lewis. He doesn't have any player's neck artwork as opposed to the Acuna, so that's good. It's got that going for him. Turkey Red 2020. Ichiro and his... Mojo Fractor, whatever you want to call it, uh, 2020 with the 1985 throwback. Great card of Ichido. Love it. Uh, there's another Jared Kalenic. This was on his, uh, when he was with the Mets before he got traded to the Mariners for Robinson Cano and Edwin Diaz. You know how I feel about that trade. Cha Ching! Just got to wait a couple more years. And then lastly, for the Nelson Cruz PC as well, my first 3D card. Excited to get that one. That is not a card that I had. This is actually the first player that I have with the Tops 3D. These are um, not very common. Yeah, don't know the number. They're not numbered, but no, they are limited. So cool to add that to the PC. Uh, next, I got one card from one of eggs it cometh our eggs uh auctions that was a 2019 and a gem mint 10 tim tebow minor league wanted to get a card of tim tebow i liked the looks of this one and of course it's in the gem mint 10 can't beat that syracuse tops heritage tim tebow uh, next, I got a couple of cards from my man, Dustin Abraham, from Dustin and Blake. He was part of a Raz earlier, uh, actually late last month, and got a couple of extra Rod Carews, Rodney Klein Carew, and he was kind enough to share the wealth with me, so that was super cool of him to do. Uh, this is talking about his batting crown, and it's got a bat relic. Uh, that one's numbered out of 49. Then we've got, actually it's talking about the same batting crown, but this is a uniform swatch. Again, numbered out of 49. This is from 2016 Panini. Going to look sweet in the Rod Carew PC. And next I'm going to read a letter here real quick. Hold it up here just to show that I didn't make this up. I know it's kind of hard to see. This is from Four Leaf Cards. Brent, thank you for your participating in the 250 video slash 250 sub contest. In your winnings, this package, you will find a good luck coin and bracelets. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at that. His brand is strong, guys. Four Leaf coming at you. Good luck. Love it. Number two, a pair of packs to open. Actually, one pack to open and a pack to give to someone. So he gave me a pack of 
2019 opening day and 2019 series two. I'm going to randomly pick a number between one and two and I pick two. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm gonna open this bad boy. So I'm gonna open this on camera and I will do as he asks and I will share that pack of opening day with somebody in the near future. Um, let's see, who do I got here? I'm just gonna go through them here and show off anybody that might be cool. This is actually a cool card. Um, franchise feats of the Texas Rangers. We've got a Ryan Braun. We've got, so let's see, oh, here we go. Gotta say it just because, you know, it's been said. But are you? Hinjin. I will not pepino it because I will not do it justice. But there he is. He's almost going to be a Minnesota twin. Obviously now with the Toronto Blue Jays. And we've got, this is just a cool card. Love the picture. It's a great card. And a Manny Machado. I think that's about it in the pack. I got a Stanton and Judge for all you Yankee fans out there. I think both of them are injured, but it doesn't really matter being that the league isn't happening right now. But that's a whole nother video for another time. I'm sure we're all commiserating together in our unity around baseball cards. Future star there, Tyler O'Neill. All right, next on the letter from Four Leaf Cards, some Twins cards pulled from the video. Okay. Some twins cards pulled from the contest video. So I'm going to open this up. My goodness, we've got Marwin Gonzalez, Michael Pineda. He opened up these cards on camera, if I believe. So he's sharing with me the twins. Jose Berrios, Jake Odorizzi, All-Star Game. Blake Parker, and Trevor May. Awesome. Love it. And number four is some Killer Brew cards for your collection. Some Killer Brew for your collection. Yeah. Look at that. Hitting me in the sweet spot. So let's open this up. Maybe. First off, we have an Archives. Look at that. With the Shine Refractor. Love it. This is from 2002. Harmon Killebrew. Archives Refractor. Love it. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Look at him going all vintage on me, too. That was a nice looking. Look at that. Yeah, 1970 at you. Oh my goodness, and he actually sent me some relic cards. Lumberjacks from Leaf. This is 2004 Leaf Lumberjacks. Did not have that. And you know what? I did not have this one either, which is, you know, is hitting everything. Let's see, that is number out of uh, 99. This is the Upper Deck Artifacts and Apparel. That's a nice uniform swatch there. So, goodness sakes, hitting me up with the Killer Brews brother. I appreciate it. Did not have those. And last but not least, it says on this letter number five, a custom card from the contest. Look at this. Four Leaf Cards. Contest winner, 13 out of 14. So, dude, that is really cool. I really appreciate you. That is, you went above and beyond. Um, a lot of fun. And go check out Four Leaf Cards. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, he's just a really good guy. Always putting out great contents, uh, whether it be breaks or just some cards that he wants to share. I always like watching his videos just because he always has a good time doing what he does. And obviously, he loves sharing with the uh, card family and the YouTube community. So, check him out. 
Okay, last but not least, I was part of a break um, for Tops and for the 1958 Top set. I've had two spots, which basically means you just get randomized, and for two spots means you get two cards out of that set. Everybody gets one card from the set. Obviously, the more spots you get, the better chance you get of getting a hit. Well, I only got two spots because I'm like, what the heck? We'll see what happens. And lo and behold, I got this. 1958 Hank Aaron. An SGC3. This is officially my first Hank Aaron standalone card. Do not have a Hank Aaron standalone card of his playing days. So I am chuffed over the moon, super stoked, and happy to have this butte. Don't know if that's racially sensitive in the back, so we'll just go back to the front. Um, Hank Aaron, 1958, what can you say? Pretty well centered, you know, a little dinged on the corners, of course, for, you know, being a three, but I'm not gonna, you know, for the price I paid, which was very minimal to get a card like this, I'm super stoked. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So that's what I got. Thanks for sharing your time with me. I appreciate it as always. And be safe out there. Love your loved ones. And let's all try to stay above the fray. Keep our sanity and focus on our family, our faith, and our friends. I appreciate you all. And have a good one. Thanks.